why I prefer cloud gaming over a PC or console. I kind of know the answer for these. I know what he's going to talk about, but let's just check it out. Maybe he's got a new perspective. I've uh, played more games in the cloud than on dedicated PC or console since late 2019. During this time, I've, that's when Google Stadia showed up, even though GeForce has been around since 2015, 13, something like that. During this time, I've traded in the common limitations of nati ga native gaming for an untethered, more versatile experience. Uh, these are the six reasons I prefer cloud gaming platforms like NVIDIA's GeForce Now over PCs and consoles. Instant access to games. Waiting on downloads and updates and one, is one of the most frustrating aspects of gaming, especially for players with little time to waste. When it comes to the cloud, however, these hurdles largely don't exist. Services like GeForce Now, X Cloud, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and Google Stadia host and, Steam game, and stream games directly from servers, meaning that from the moment a game shows up in my library, I can play it instantly with no added wait times. Game updates are also delivered automatically as soon as they're available. I never boot up my machine just to uh, find a list of titles that need a patch. That is, I've said it before, but that is my, I, that's the biggest thing that irks me about the Switch. Every time I, I go to play it, especially if I take, if, if I hadn't played it, played it for a week or two, I mean, is everything's getting updated. I'm like, oh my God, I just wanted to pick it up and play. And then I got to play games that don't require updates, but aren't the games that I wanted to play, if that makes any sense, you know? So if I want to jump in on a Fortnite and Fortnite's updating, then I end up playing something else that, um, you know, it's not terrible, you know, first world problems, but still. That said, there have been a couple of times when a game on GeForce Now briefly goes down, but these have been few and far between for me. I haven't seen that in Stadia, so I'm not, I'm not sure. And I don't use GeForce Now uh, that much. First time I've ran, I ran into a patch that prevented me from playing a game on GeForce Now. Has anyone else seen this before? Yes, you know, I think I saw this before. I think I saw... Uh, not on me, not, I didn't experience it, but I think I saw a tweet with somebody showing a picture like this. Screen versatility, whether it's a console tethered to a TV or an expensive GPU plugged uh, directly into a PC, both are considered stationary gaming options that would require some hassle to move. With cloud gaming, however, nearly every screen I own is a potential gaming rig. I can play games at, the, at my desktop after a day at work, relax on the couch in front of a TV on the weekends, and I can even indulge in a game or two on my phone before bed. This level of power and versatility can only be found in a game system designed to co uh, coalesce with a range of devices, device form factors. This is obvious to all of us uh, if you're in a, if you're already kind of exposed to cloud gaming. But there's a lot of people that uh, don't realize that cloud gaming is, is an option. Uh, cloud pa platforms are also great for traveling and vacation, whereas it's an it's a pain to lug a console or gaming PC from one place to the next. Cloud gaming requires uh, no special hardware. Even the laptops for gaming are really heavy. Uh, with a stable Wi-Fi connection, my trusty phone, tablet, and laptop can all be my gaming rig at a moment's notice. Unlimited game storage. The more uh, graphically intensive games become, the more storage space they require. This has been apparent with titles like 2019's Call of Duty, Modern Warfare taking up a, an absur absurd 231 gigabytes of space. They showed a screenshot of, I think... Uh, the scrolls online, something like that. Elder Scrolls online, it was 300 and something gigs. I was like, oh my gosh, if you have a terabyte uh, hard drive, that's a third in one, just one game. Adding a few more entries such, uh, just like this and a PC or console SSD will fill up fast. These limitations don't apply to cloud gamers. Every supported uh, game on any given service lives in a publicly shared server and players who own a license to these games can simply click on one in their library and drive and dive in as a result i have unbridled access to my entire library without having to install uninstall games manage multiple ssds or worry about running low on storage yep yep yep, yep. unlimited cloud saves Oh, I never even thought about that. 
saving a backing saving and backing up game data can get messy on a pc while services like steam cloud do a decent job they can sometimes fail causing a uh, a repairable loss if your game supports this feature at all you could set up your own backup solutions but these are tedious at best luckily cloud platforms shine here as well yeah that that's not aging well with the uh, uh, Ubisoft breakpoint uh, debacle uh, I still don't have my store my saved game back I'm wondering when the one cloud platform to rule them all will be yeah, it's, it's gonna be a while I mean look at GFM man it's, it's been around for a little while not only does this ensure the latest saves files are always available on all my devices regardless of which screen i use services like geforce now even add cloud save capa uh, capabilities to titles that don't natively support them like Kenna bridge of spirits on the epic game store as a result my game save data is always up to date backed up and ready for my next foray uh gfn is okay but you're just paying to play your own games buy a game for 60 dollars then pay another 20 that's that's my issue with uh, gfn i mean 20 dollars wouldn't be bad if i had you know whatever 100 and, you know right now i have 204 games on on stadia <clears throat> and even if like 150 are from the pro subscription the other 50 something are the games that i bought uh but because i was new to stadia i was new to gaming when stadia came up i didn't have any games on steam or epic and um and so when i go there <clears throat> i have access to like 118 free-to-play games but those are the same games that i have access to on my switch so you know what i mean which i can it's, to me yeah this a, it's a, a storage issue all these issues come along with the switch but it's not you know unique games and uh, i don't know uh I have I don't have the I only have the free tier with GFN so I can't really dog it uh, or you know promote it because I'm just I'm just not excited about it um, as much as I am about Stadia so that doesn't I don't want to take away anything from GFN but you know that's my my biggest issue with them is that I would have to buy the game and then pay to play that game which doesn't make sense to me you know 344 on steam but how many of those 344 do you have uh access to on gfn because you can go on the like that's not bad if you just go on the on the free tier so the free tier is not great for streamers because you have to reset the session every time after an hour uh hopefully it's not too crowded i haven't really had an uh, uh issue waiting for games on gfn it's normally a matter of uh, seconds uh, by by the time I get into a game, uh, but again, games that I that I have access to are either free for, for all, right? Like the, uh, the demos are a new thing, and like four or five games that I had because either I got them for free on Epic or um, or had purchased like uh, what, what's the what's a five dollar game i have uh among us on there just because for a little while i played among us with everybody and five bucks isn't terrible lost an hour of work and no man's sky because i didn't play for 15 minutes while i was walking the dog oh oh because it didn't save it oh that would suck but to be honest that would happen that could happen with stadia too Right, you have to save it. Otherwise, it kicks it kicks you out. I don't think it saves it automatically. You know what I mean? Unless it's a game that saves automatically. You know, most games I think save on a queue, uh, like a certain spot. Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3080 is one of the most sought after GPUs on the planet. Unfortunately, it's notoriously hard to find, and even if you can get one on Amazon, they come with quite a few snacks. For starters, they drop to 320 watts of power, rip your electricity bill, they generate enough heat to fry an egg, and they must be kept cool for optimal performance. In short, they're expensive to buy, pricey to maintain, and generally a hassle to use. Yeah. Um... Or, as in the case with GeForce Now, you can sidestep all of these inconveniences and get the power of the GeForce RTX 
3080 stream to your device via the cloud for $19.99 a month. GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier delivers high performance, graphics, stability, and ray tracing to not just my computer, but to my phone, tablet, and TV too. Even better, I don't have to worry about powering it, cooling it, or maintaining it. Nvidia handles all of the stuff for me, leaving me with uh, nothing to do but enjoy my games. I wonder if it's the, the server room is like cool, like just the ACs cools it down or if they're running liquid uh coolers inside server st uh, racks i'm gonna skip the most of it because uh this stuff is, is kind of obvious already for any cloud gamer no more up upgrades yeah so you don't have to upgrade your computer laptop devices whatever they just get upgraded automatically when the service gets upgraded how to get started on geforce now there are quite you can get the free version if you just sign up for GeForce Now, that gives you one hour of playtime for free. You can just uh, turn it off, turn the game off, turn it back on, you get another hour. The 999 gives you six hours, and then the 3080 gives you, was it eight hours? But that's $20 a month. Okay, how to geek. Wait, didn't these guys have like a, <laughs> a negative uh, Stadia article before? Like a, a Stadia Dead article before? can't remember uh but anyways i think if you're in the clouds you already know most of that stuff yeah they need to eliminate that if i want to have a game run 24 7 that's my choice yeah yeah i wonder why they they wouldn't do that <clears throat> i guess it's it, you think it's like the netflix thing where after a certain amount of time they're like yeah you still because pandora does it too are you still playing are you still watching kind of thing because I guess it would be hard on their system if everybody just leaves it running or something like that. 